Dave, a point for uh, South and United just confirms the playoff position. What was your uh, take on that match? I thought it was a decent game, to be honest with you. Um, end to end, obviously disappointed with the goal we've conceded. We didn't really think it was a free kick, and then they took it again and um, been able to put a decent ball in. But um, I thought we had to battle away today. There was uh, certain elements that, that weren't going our way. Um, the wind was playing a factor as well to a certain extent. Uh, the change around. But um, yeah, I think. Uh, we deserve the point, I think, and we're a little bit, you know, perhaps Barry Cork can score the chance that Anton Straker does, but uh, I think as the game went on, we got stronger and stronger, and the game got stretched, and we looked fitter, and we looked stronger, and we looked, we looked like we were going to nick one, possibly on the break, and there was going to be a set play, possibly, that could get them a goal. Once again, it just shows how Southend can come back after going a goal behind. Have we seen throughout this season, did it exactly the same in the first half, Barry Cork getting the leveller? Yeah, we, we were frustrated with decisions that were going against us, we felt, and then there were players getting a little bit uptight. As I said, for the first goal, uh, we didn't think it was a free kick, um, but you know they've got some underbelly now, which uh, perhaps we were, we were missing early on in the season, and, uh, and together as a group, they've come together and uh, we've got some real momentum now, so yeah, another set player, we're delighted with them, we don't score enough, we keep working on we don't score enough, so um, it's great that we uh, can get a set play in a goal. Yeah. Michael, a point for uh, South United, and you confirm your playoff berth, how pleasing is that, first of all? Yeah, obviously it's very pleasing to, to, to finally um, be able to say we're definitely in the playoffs. Obviously we knew the situation before the game that uh, we're in, in the playoffs bar a disaster. Um, so we had, to, we had to approach this game with the right attitude and I'd like to think we did. Um, caught, caught Fleetwood at a time where they're full of confidence and they're still playing for the promotion. Um, so it was a definitely a tough game coming into. Um, but it was a very entertaining game and uh, I feel as though if we got one or two decisions that we should have got, especially with a penalty with uh, Ben Cove getting pulled, it would have been a slightly different game. But it was a very, very, very tight game, um, both teams at end-to-end. -end. Um, we had to be a bit more cautious in the second half because they were putting on a lot more attacking players and we had to guarantee that, that point that we needed. I was going to ask that uh, penalty shout, Ben Coke uh, seemed to be uh, pulled in the uh, box. What was uh, the defender saying about that? Well, I wasn't I wasn't too close to, to, to where it happened, but I was behind the referee and, and obviously Chris the referee is a good ref, but he did he did think about giving it and I was right behind him, you can see his body language. He went to, to put the ref, uh, the whistle in his mouth, he looked over to the to the linesman. The linesman's too far to to decide for him. Um, he should have been a bit more braver. Um, but at the end of the day, you get them and you don't get them. Um, as long as we we're, we're making sure that we we show the, the positive stuff that we need to do, um, that's all we can do. And obviously, we're delighted for the fans that travelled up because this season they've been fantastic. Like every season, but this season mostly, I've noticed it so much more. Um, the, the, the way fans have been fantastic, and it showed it in the, in the numbers that they came today. And we're just wanting to make sure we produce the result that they were going to be happy with.